welcome back to the channel for a new game which is on special now on PlayStation Store um, if you have a PlayStation Plus subscription uh, you can get 60% off of Hunting Simulator 2 so yeah let's go into it I'm gonna show you how to start this is actually my fifth time starting the game and um, yeah let's see if I can get it correctly now, because the previous video I made, I got copyright claims because of the music playing, and I see no option to turn it off, so I'm probably just going to see what I can do to get it. Rise and shine! It's the big day. Time for you to participate in your first hunt. I'll be guiding you from a distance and giving out some tips as you go. Are you ready to take on the elements? Okay then, let's get started, shall we? Would you mind stepping out of your cabin and taking in that fresh scent of nature? Good. Now let's get down to business. There should be some tracks nearby. Walk around a little, you should be able to find some. Well, um, just to give you guys a quick tip, please do the tutorial. You will get a free trophy for your lodge. And, um... You can see the other surprise you're gonna get. Okay, the first track is around the bound here. I, you've got the option, um, tracking assistance that you can put it on if you want to, but I'm not gonna do it. You're gonna see why. Uh, somewhere around there about. Here we, yeah, we are. First track. Now, you're gonna have to analyze this track if you want to know what kind of animal we're hunting today. Ho ho ho! The fabled white-tailed deer. A classic. Okay, so we know it's a white tail. We don't have a license or a weapon for it yet. Would you mind marking this location on your map and then returning to the cabin? I'll get you the right license and weapon for when you get there. I press the the touchpad and um, X market only got one option in this tutorial so let's get back to the cabin quickly and you're gonna see why I said you need to do the tutorial because you get this for free okay I think you're ready to go hunt that white tail now but wait before you head out I got you a little surprise a little surprise. That is the correct word. That's right. It's your very own hunting beagle. Why don't you go ahead and give the dog a name? Well, I'm gonna give it my own dog's name, Bambi. That's an awesome name. Reminds me of my old border collie. Okay, so let's get back to those traps. Check your map to find the marker you placed. Oh, you can just use this and see where it is and maybe just add the wave point if you want to, but the dog will actually go find it for you. There we go. The dog found the track. Good job. Now you should praise them for doing That's a good job. Good dog. This will increase their drive and make them more obedient. Now that you have your dog with you, you can instruct them to follow a trail from this track. The dog is following go the trail. On. They'll go to the next track and wait for you. Okay, let's keep following this trail for a bit. I'm sure you'll run into something eventually. Uh, as you progress, the dog's um, abilities will increase also. As it is now, it's still a little bit new. A puppy. Um... But yeah, for the tutorial it won't do any mistakes, but in real gameplay it will actually start into maybe wander off or start not getting anything. Hunting can be a slow game. You need to have nerves of steel and an incredible amount of patience. If you keep following the tracks, though, you're bound to run into an animal eventually. Yeah, it is a slow game. Um, patient, but yeah, this is a simulating game, so probably in real life, hunting d does take time. Uh, 
Oh, look at that. Oh, look there, it's a stand. Why don't you get a little closer? Oh, no. Just have Double to pull my. Okay, now all you have to do is climb into it. There you go. Now that you're in a stand, it's time to play the waiting game. You don't have to wait in the stand, but it gives you a nice vantage point, and makes you less noticeable. Less. Let's wait a bit. Let us go. My instinct is telling me something good is about to happen. There. White-tailed deer. Don't shoot it just yet. You need to carefully plan your shot. Take a deep breath and aim for its vital organs. Wait for it. Wait for it. Now, take the shot. Press L3. Dear good. Now, get out of the stand. Go find the blood trail. Don't forget to always memorize the location where you shot the animal. Uh, it's about right about there. Come on. Okay. You straight off a bit, but there should be a blood trail where you shot it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Good you see? Blood. Now, just follow it, or Who's have a dog a trail. Dog? Go on. Dog will actually take you to it. Here it is, still bright. If you take too long, it will start to go off less and less, less blood. Found something. That's a good dog. Go. Back to the cabin. Let's head back. You can use your map if you're lost. What a good dog. All right, let's get back. You can use your map um, at the wave point. Let's go. Actually shows up on the compass uh, here on top. A dog will always go searching. Come must, on. In this case, I'm just gonna let him come to me.
Wait, did you hear that? Seems there's another animal nearby. It sounds like it's a moose, but you don't have a license for it. Which means you won't be able to hunt it. It always pays to get multiple licenses for a region, so you can hunt more than one animal type at a time. Come along. Anyways, let's get back to that cabin. That's a good dog. Now that you're at the cabin, all you have to do is claim the animal. When you claim a bagged animal, you can either trade it in for cash or make a trophy out of it. The choice is yours. In this case, we're going to claim it. We're not going to sell it. We're going to keep the trophy. Good job. You did great today. And I'm going to see you you're back at the cabin. Solo hunt. Well, I'm back here. Uh, this is the... A launch, a launch, 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 sorry. Anyway, here's the trophy you've got. Actually, but for now, we need to go. So I need, first I need to pause the video to figure out how to put down, or put off the sound of the music of the, and I got. License, let's go to licenses. So take the first one. Um, but take the most expensive one, because you get that first one for free. So, let's buy. As you can see, um, each animal's got different type of calibers you can hunt it with. There's all the numbers there. And what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to buy everything. But if you buy the elite package, like I've done, which is now on special, actually you save a lot, a lot, um, when you buy that one. So, yeah, you get these two already. So let's buy the rest. So you can hunt basically anything. Okay, so that's all the licenses for this part. Right. I'll go back one. Um, don't worry about weapons. Let's go get ourselves a decent scope. Um, any of these will be fine. We're just 750 worth. Um, six times. It's actually a good number. My personal favorite is between these two. I like actually this one. And after that, go buy yourself items. Um, go get yourself a good rangefinder. Uh, actually, one of these two. You can get yourself something else, but for for the start, I will say just get yourself a rangefinder just to find out how far the animals are. It looks like basically the same, but with these you can actually just see further. As in, not. Nothing, you don't have enough money left now. Headwear, t-shirts, a lot of stuff here. Gloves, pants, shoes. Yeah, actually, of time we're gonna buy ourselves a backpack. Um, I will actually recommend one of these two. We can get another extra weapon on you especially when you're hunting different game companions as it now is i got the little bambi here um whoop. as a tutorial thing um to get a trophy you need to actually buy all of them and max them out all in abilities after doing that you will see the big man is sitting there. <laughs> right. Um, just a quick little tour. You can have in animals all around. There's gonna be at least two up in this spot. Um, a couple of them are on the walls. This one. You can actually click on now and see all the information. Um, on it. As you can see, it took me. 
almost 100 meters to shoot it gives his age what region it was and so on and so forth size weight and the score i got for that all right now we're gonna go i'm gonna be there last this is a bedroom you can choose your time slots you want to hunt in um this is for clothes that one you got your own personal little uh, google gives you explanation about everything just make sure about the fines for example shoot an animal without the license and um, shoot the many animals you must look at that shooting a female animal specific specifying animals only this is actually one of them i know it's um it's a, what do you call it boar a female boar which is one of them you can't shoot and shoot an animal of the wrong caliber that's also something you need to look at not bagging the animal before returning to the lodge so if you just shoot it and leave it there you also get penalty for that the rest of the stuff it's minors um don't worry about those last one but not least this is the beautiful place that all your weapons are actually nice little door this is uh, the ultimate oh well this is actually more a gift but you get it only when you shot every animal you get this beautiful shotgun um but don't worry about that now in our selection if you get if you have a backpack when we bought one and um, you can put some extra stuff in extra weapons and so forth but select weapons and you can select one now you got this three now if you push the triangle you can see actually which calipers they are so when you're hunting you can maybe have two of these or maybe um, a shotgun with it which you also get you get um, one of these three shotguns my personal favorite is actually this one um yeah so you can just maybe put that you can get modern sporting rifles i'm going to show you now those for this one i'm actually going to use maybe this one for now you can select your caliber yeah um it actually shows you all the game you can hunt with these it's quite uh, a lot to be honest um but smaller game you can actually gonna need this but anyway you select one go back and go to select your scope select it and you will see it there in the inventory select items you can only select one item at the moment which is now this second item you don't have yet but if you have a second item you can just put it in there so that is basically my setup for this and this is a beautiful wall of all the guns so as you buy guns it will all show up here all right don't worry about the movement it's not that bad it's actually just my controller which is really slow on the right i don't know why but anyway weapons got all these beautiful weapons here each one you could actually um examine by pressing r3 if you want to nice little look at it um all the information you can see which calibers is it can shoot so if you want to get certain calibers for shooting you can also see that shotguns also a nice long list um some of them is the 20 gauge and so forth as you can see yeah caliber actually only a handful which is 20 gauge if you want to have more damage like this i wonder if there is one for um where is I like my old school ones. But anyway, next one is this sporting rifles. Only two <laughs> uh, 
there's only two calibers it takes but this is actually i will just buy this for to complete my collection hunting with them i don't know but anyway favorites bolts and arrows got this beautiful crossbow with a scope already on it or you want to go down old school nice craftsmanship here as you can see right so if you got a little money left well, we want to rather buy one of these but anyway it is it's beautiful and that is your list there items that did show you already you got your wind powders why got the little sound thingies you can make a little sound this thing looks actually like a horn like a telescope horn <laughs> um scent killers which can also come in handy you will see but it's quite pricey scent lures actually you can lure them in if you want to especially i think when you need to get that rabbit this is going to be um helpful white tail we already got now so don't worry about that and companions like i showed you already so just the last part of the tutorial this is where you go to hunt um you can press try a uh, square to see if you've got the licenses for this area which i've got all of them now it's a good start to start here um texas uh, i won't recommend it for the first time because i was there it is pretty much so yeah, let's try. Um, not been here yet, but you can see the type of things you can hunt if you want to have maybe a brown bear in that case. This side we've got our black bear, if I'm correct. Um, black bears and grizzly bears, yeah. So um, licenser for there. So this is actually a really good spot maybe to hunt something of everything. So yeah, we'll just select it and you will go out. Um, uh, if you go to that door, you go to the shooting range, which we are going to now. Well, we are at the shooting range. So this is just a loadout spot where you can actually choose the weapons you already got on. But I um, already got something here. Shooting ranges, all different shapes and sizes, so it goes a little bit longer and longer and longer. But I'm going to go to the furthest point, because this is the longer shot. It's basically where you actually going to hunt. But anyway, you press the button pull, it will pop up one of those. So let's pop up about, I think you can only pop up two at a time. Right, oh no, it's actually three up at a time. So let's pull some shooting L3 to get it down. You can't do this too long. And you will show it on the right, right hand corner where it is shot. It. You can see it's a little bit more off. And square to reload you got 100 bullets if you run out of bullets just go and reload like i said the next one is just a little bit shorter and shorter and shorter let's just give it a swing here just to show you it's about 50 meters as you can see But this one is really short. It's so short it is like let's just give an example. If you maybe shoot an outside like that. Yeah. So if you miss a little bit it'll go out more and more. So let's go here to the loadout part, go to one of these places here, change weapon, select weapon, let's take the shotgun, my favorite. Get a 12 gauge on engage. 
Right, here's the shotgun. Beautiful craftsmanship right there. Right. And you're gonna go to here. Um, I think this is... Yeah, well, you have to be ready with this one. Um, I'm not really good in this area, but um, let's give it a swing. Ah, oh, at least I got one. Yeah. I'm totally bad. Now this is now basically train yourself for um, bird hunting because you use this shotgun to bird hunt. Um, can I shoot those? I don't know. I'm gonna give it a try. Nope, you can't. I guess it actually makes sense now. But basically, guys, that is the whole tutorial. I hope you have some good hunting. If you like the video, leave a like if you're new, subscribe. Um, tell me what, how do you start the game? Because this, I find this is the best way for me to start. Um, it will depend on each one. But yeah, if you are in here, you can also, also start a competition. But I'm not going to do this in this tutorial. This is going to be for myself. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Until next time, guys, stay safe. And good hunting. Goodbye.